The second B-21 has arrived at flight testing at Edwards. And this is more than an engineering milestone. It's the declaration of a new tactical phase. A sky used to rotations and routine suddenly tenses up. This isn't just about checking mechanisms. It's about refining decisions that will determine who sets the rules of air warfare. Two aircraft mean twice the test tempo, twice the data flow, and room for surprises. Engineers are readying demonstrations to become operational trials and tactics that yesterday felt theoretical have to work in practice today. The moment one system flips on autonomous algorithms while the other assigns real-time missions to drone swarms, that's when the test truly begins, and there's no turning back. The B-21 is not just another bomber. It's an attempt to fuse low observability, a networked nervous system, and modular combat capability into a single airframe. At its core is a clean, blended wing fuselage shape that minimizes edge transitions and local radar returns. Exterior panels use low reflectivity materials, and seams and gaps are machined to such tight tolerances that the aircraft's signature is reduced to the lowest modern standards. Northrop Grumman positions the B-21 as a platform for penetrating the most contested A2-AD environments, that's the official line, and the technical backbone of the program. The B-21's engines come from Pratt & Whitney, modern turbofan power plants engineered for fuel efficiency and a very low infrared signature. The exact model and thrust figures haven't been confirmed publicly, but the vendor's name tells you a lot. Two integrated, high-efficiency turbofans let the B-21 operate long distances while keeping its heat signature down, because exhaust is mixed into built-in ducts to reduce infrared exposure. As for speed and altitude, the B-21 is designed for long-range penetration and mass employment, rather than high-speed dash missions. Think sustained subsonic cruise. Experts place its cruise around Mach 0.95, with a maximum operating altitude near 50,000 feet. Range on internal fuel is measured in thousands of nautical miles, with actual numbers depending heavily on payload and aerial refueling. Payload and modularity estimates vary. Analysts suggest anywhere from about 9 metric tons to 20 metric tons of internal payload. That's roughly 19,840 pounds up to 44,090 pounds, depending on how you count internal bays and loading options. The airframe was designed to provide large internal weapon bays while preserving a low observable profile on takeoff and ingress. Those bays were sized to carry everything from JDAM-type bombs and long-range precision weapons to nuclear-capable loads, making the platform deliberately ambiguous in its mission set. The B-21's radar and sensor suite is built around a networked modular sensor architecture. Think AESA radars, passive detection systems, high-resolution electro-optical and infrared sensors. Picture a sensory blanket that fuses all those inputs into a single, real-time operational picture. That fusion is what lets the airplane not only detect threats, but also make automated decisions and share them across the network. Northrop Grumman and the U.S. Air Force stress that the B-21 is meant to be a node in a joint information environment, not an isolated platform. Exact stealth numbers, RCS, remain classified, but the combination of shape, materials, and fully integrated systems produces a radar cross-section substantially lower than previous generations. It's not invisibility from science fiction. Rather, it creates operational windows in which modern air defense systems struggle to detect and respond quickly. In short, the B-21 doesn't make the enemy blind, but it changes their reaction time and decision space. Where the B-21 really differs today is in its networking and drone integration. It acts as a central brain that can task swarms of UAVs, using them as scouts, strike elements, or suppression assets. 
The Platform Plus Swarm concept lets the bomber shift risk to cheaper autonomous systems, multiply the effect of a single sortie into dozens of simultaneous actions, and retain the high-level command function within the network. Electronic warfare, survivability, and upgradability in the B-21 are built around continuous software refreshes, modular processor units, open interfaces to encryption and sensors, and the ability to push algorithm upgrades even in the field. Its EW suite and passive ID reduction measures are meant to work in sync with a probe and detect tactic. If an adversary registers a contact, the B-21 can change its behavior, hand off the mission to drones, or egress under the cover of electronic suppression. That survivability model is a hybrid of software and hardware protections. So, is the B-21 better than comparable aircraft? A few points. Quantity. The program's software-first strategy bets not only on a single supermachine, but on serial production. More platforms mean mass-level combat capability, which changes the math of a conflict. Networked effects. Tight integration with unmanned systems and other nodes multiplies combat effect in ways that lone, rare aircraft cannot match. Modularity and upgradability. Its digital architecture lets the bomber adapt quickly to new threats via software updates rather than time-consuming hardware overhauls. Operational balance. The B-21 was designed with range, payload, and stealth efficiency in mind and with operations and logistics costs considered, not just headline specs. That makes it relatively cheaper per mission accomplished. These four factors together deliver a clear operational edge, not in a one-on-one -on -one duel, but at the campaign level. Limits and risks remain, of course. Exact performance figures are classified, the true program cost and logistical footprint are still unknown, and real-world effectiveness against highly adaptive counter-drone systems and modern electronic warfare suites still needs field validation. Still, it's already clear that the mix of low observability, networked architecture, modular weapons, and streamlined logistics makes the B-21 a platform that changes how strategic operations are planned and executed. Put simply, the B-21 becomes the new benchmark not because of a single magic spec, but because its combined capabilities let one sortie create effects that used to require dozens of aircraft. Now that the second airframe is in the flight test program, the question shifts from does the prototype work to how fast can this be scaled to reshape the battlefield in a real conflict. 